In the headlines, the private sector warned to be proactive for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season, two new cases of COVID-19 isolated, and cable wireless communications are confident of 2020 hurricane season preparedness. I'm Andrea Lee with the Channel 5 News, back with the details after this. When flow, it only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. A new in home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan faster, more reliable Wi Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus, the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All In Bundle. With Flow, it only gets better. Si ou ni maladi HIV, e bien maladi sexua. Si ou ka protege ko lo ka ni sex ek plizye mou. Sa ka y mette la vi ou ak wadanje. Ou ka expose tout pat na ou prezen ek an tsa ki ka vini ek maladi ya. Sevi yo kondom chak fwa ou ka ni sex. Change ki, i e potan pou dekouver maladi ya bonè. Ou sa viv ak bon soti, menm si ou ni maladi HIV. Pwen wè skon sa pite, proteje ko ou e bi li zot. Examine ko ou. Ede dou bout si men maladi HIV ek lot maladi seksiwa. When you feel a sneeze or a cough coming, <coughs> covering your mouth prevents the spread of germs. You probably knew that. But the way you cover up also matters, and that means breaking a habit you've held near and dear all your life. Cover your nose and mouth with your flexed elbow or a tissue, not your hands. Discard the used tissue immediately, then wash your hands. Help stop the spread of germs. Remember, your health is your responsibility. A message by the Health Promotion Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and New Health Investment, Dominica. We're in your corner, yeah. And in our hearts we are with you. We are so grateful for all you do. We want to say thank you. Cause when we need you, you're always there Risking it all to keep us safe You are our heroes, so we sing the song for no you No matter the time, you're by our side To always make sure we are secure Our hearts are filled with thanks Cause you give you all you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Top up, 
done or switch now to win. It only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. Thank you for staying with us. First up, the private sector want to be proactive this hurricane season. This as the country and region have entered the 2020 hurricane season, which has been forecast as above average. Executive Director of the DAIC, Liz Fabian, is urging the private sector to ensure they have a robust business continuity plan as this year there is a double threat of the COVID-19 pandemic and the hurricane season. In light of the significant impact of COVID-19 on our businesses, human resource and economy, and this coupled with the potential impact of the 2020 hurricane season, we at DAIC strongly urge our private sector and public sector to take proactive measures to safeguard all resources, including our human resource and our operations due to the threat of this 2020 hurricane season. We note that hurricanes are not the only risk that we are faced with, and we urge everyone to review and update our business continuity and crisis management plans. Adequate preparation ensures that both our private and our public sector can return to normal operations within a quicker time frame. The DAIC has collaborated with the Network of Caribbean Chambers of Commerce, CARICHAM, on a 2020 hurricane preparedness campaign to support regional businesses in taking proactive measures to reduce potential risks on businesses. I would like to highlight a few of these measures um, which would really help to support our businesses and our public sector during this time. It's important to maintain emergency contact information for employees, vendors, suppliers, customers, and other key contacts. It's also important to assemble a team and identify a team leader who will be responsible for managing the key operations, and that person can also provide important perspectives when planning for or responding to a disaster. It is also important to organize all critical documents and information so that they can be accessible when we need them most. It's also vital that we identify and prioritize which business operations are critical in order to identify the order of recovery. The private sector was also urged to properly identify threats, both natural and man-made, and evaluate the impact they can have on businesses. In other top stories, health authorities in Dominica have acted swiftly to isolate two cruise ship workers who tested positive for COVID-19 after sailing into the country aboard a repatriation vessel on 27th May. The following is the text of a statement issued by Prime Minister Skerritt on the 1st of June. 37 Dominicans disembarked the ship, a ship at Portsmouth. However, while all were tested and placed in mandatory quarantine, only two positive cases emerged from the series of tests conducted in accordance with local protocols and international best practice. The two nationals, who were at that point still asymptomatic with no pre-existing health conditions, have been placed in isolation. Neither they or any of the other 35 crew members have come into contact with family, friends and other non-frontline health and safety professionals. Having been tested positive on Dominican soil means their record will now be added to Dominica's official COVID-19 statistics. This brings to 18 the total number of Dominicans testing positive for the virus. Since all 16 previous cases have fully recovered, tested negative on two occasions and given a clean bill of health to return to their homes and families, the two cruise ship employees are now the only two people in Dominica known to have the virus. The 35 remaining crew who tested negative upon entering Dominica shall remain under mandatory institutionalized monitoring for another two weeks as every precaution is taken to minimize the adverse impact of their arrival on the general population. In other developments, Senior Counsel Anthony Astafan has confirmed that documents are being drafted as part of moves to appeal a recent Supreme Court ruling on treating against Dominica Labour Party candidates in 2014. Two out of three judges ruled last week that the matter should be tried in magistrate's court, but Senior Counsel Anthony Astafan says that decision, which was not unanimous, will be appealed. If not tomorrow, which is the first working day, by Wednesday, the application to the Court of Appeal will be, will be filed. 
Um, our team has had a chance to look at the majority judgment. We think they got it terribly wrong. Um, we think the judgment of the dissenting judge, the most senior member of the bench at that time, Madam Justice Blenman, is absolutely 100% correct. And because of the great public interest in ensuring which is the relevant and applicable law for the determination of these matters, and to avoid any sort of uncertainty and, and, and any sort of ambush where politicians can lose an election and don't file a petition and then wait several weeks or months to file cases in the magistrate's court for matters that occurred before the election. Justice and the public interest demands that this matter be dealt with by the CCG at the highest level. So I can safely tell you that by, if not tomorrow, Tuesday, the second, Wednesday, the third, the application will be filed and we are going to be asking the court to treat it with urgency and to grant a stay of proceedings pending the application and the hearing of the appeal before the CCJ. If the CCJ rules one way or the other, then so be it. But that judgment should, the, the majority judgments and based on the content of their judgment should not be allowed to stand. Or at least should not be allowed to stand without further scrutiny by the highest appellate court for the Commonwealth of Dominica. On to agricultural developments, the contingency emergency response component of the World Bank funded project gets underway this week. Julian Morris explains. According to project manager of the project implementation unit of the World Bank funded program, the contingency emergency response aspect of the program will target micro farmers who did not qualify under the initial project due to land size. Online registration for micro farmers starts this week. With regards to the contingency emergency response component of the program, as you said on, in June, the first week in June, we want to launch online registration of what we call micro farmers. These are farmers who did not qualify under the project, had less than a quarter acre, but more than 3,000 acre, um, 3, square feet didn't qualify for the backyard farmers. These farmers are going to be entitled to $500 worth of inputs. They just simply sign a registration form online as long as they're physically capable, have water, and willing to share the produce with a number of institutions indicated on the form, they will be automatically qualified. Distribution of funds under the cash transfer program is set to get underway this week as follows. $700 for small farmers with less than two acres, $1,400 for medium farmers who own between two and five acres, and $2,800 for large farmers with more than five acres. In addition to the distribution of funds, the cash transfer program will also reopen for new applicants. In the new registrations, we have made some adaptations because a number of farmers did not apply because of what we call land authorization issues. They didn't have permission or the land was in a lease arrangement that has expired years ago and has not been renewed. So we made a proposal to the World Bank in light of the time it takes for those legal issues to be solved. What can we use as a means to legitimize those farmers, to ensure that these farmers are genuine farmers? And what we have introduced for new farmers is what we call a proof of sales. And proof of sales is basically verified by three means. Either you have been so selling to Dexia from March 20th, at least four shipments. If you are not selling to Dexia, you are either selling to the supermarket, you are selling to exporters, which again, at least four sales before March 20th. If you're not selling to any one of them and you're selling as a vendor at the market, you need to have at least a produce seller's license. Registration for the cash transfer program is set to run for the month of June. You are watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. away thirty thousand dollars in cash oh, yeah. two bags of money plus a grand every friday Get a plan.
run or switch now to win. It only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. When you feel a sneeze or a cough coming, <coughs> covering your mouth prevents the spread of germs. You probably knew that. But the way you cover up also matters, and that means breaking a habit you've held near and dear all your life. Cover your nose and mouth with your flexed elbow or a tissue, not your hands. Discard the used tissue immediately. Then wash your hands. Help stop the spread of germs. Remember, your health is your responsibility. A message by the Health Promotion Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and New Health Investment, Dominica. When flow, it only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. Les moun ki ni ti bi estene e ben tout se, moun ki an bon santé oli wang ka wespiwe se vermin la. Moun ki pani bon tepe waman kon sa ki ni maladi HIV, alcohol, kafime, ti mamay e gwa moun bien sensi pou se maladi sa la. Moun ki ka tout se ni pou pran proposyon le yo an parmi moun an plas publik. Kouve bouchou le oka estene e tout se. Visite dokte ou e ben plas santé ou. Fini tout tretman yo ba ou pou sa jwen jerizon e pi maladi ti bi. An responsabilite ou, ede dou bou Simen maladi TB et HIV. Proteje kou et lezo. connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up, switch to Flow, it only gets better. Welcome back. Cable and Wireless working to ensure network resilience while managing COVID-19 challenges this hurricane season. The start of the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season on June 1st naturally brings increased anxiety as Caribbean residents brace for the unpredictability of natural disasters across the region. This year, however, tensions are even higher as Caribbean countries are battling against the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. Cable and Wireless Communications, a Liberty Latin America company and the operator of the Flow, BTC and UTS brands in the Caribbean, wants to assure the customers and communities it serves of the comprehensive preparation measures being put in place for what the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association have predicted will be a fairly active 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. Already on May 17, the first named subtropical storm Arthur jumped ahead of the official season start, though fortunately it did not gain sufficient strength to pose a threat to the region. Inga Smith, CEO of Cable and Wireless Communication, said connectivity has never been more critical in this region. Our networks are enabling millions of customers to stay connected at a time when physical distancing has become the new normal. Our regional governments, healthcare systems and educational facilities are all relying on our services to manage their operations in a new world of e-government, virtual meetings and online learning. 
We too have had to adapt our operations to embrace the challenges of COVID-19 of COVID-19 to keep our employees safe and employed and, and enable our customers to stay connected. Smith continued, at the same time, we are focused on preparing our world-class networks for the 2020 hurricane season. Our teams have already begun their rigorous checks on our hurricane-tested network, which has enabled our business and residential customers in the region to stay connected through much of the devastating Atlantic hurricane activity over the past few years. We continue to invest in important redundancy capabilities across our vast subsea network and in data centers, located outside of the hurricane belt, which provide an additional layer of protection for connectivity in the region. The ability to stay in contact with loved ones throughout natural disasters has always been important to our customers in the region, and we are very proud to play this vital role. Across its markets, the company has already completed a number of rigorous hurricane drills and has launched its awareness campaigns encouraging customers to be vigilant and make their preparations for the 2020 season. Healthcare systems, governments and citizens of the OECS have been commended for their role in containing the COVID-19 outbreak in the region. Julian Morris has that story. Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank told a recent webinar organized by the Dominica Association of Industry and Commerce that the grouping is in a good place now as regards positive COVID-19 cases. Timothy Antoine was making reference to statistics collected as of the 27th of May 2020. When we look at the situation with COVID in our region, um, as of last count, in fact, I, we have the 22nd, but as of yesterday, the 27th, uh, we, have, we had 129 cases, so just one additional case. And at this moment, we are 11 recoveries. And so as you can see in several of our countries, there are now no active cases in our region. And this is a real credit to the efforts of our governments, our local health authorities, but in particular, our people, including our businesses, who have a significant sacrifice to allow us to be able to have these results today. So that's the first wave. And as you can see, um, we've been able to contain. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank had also pumped millions into member territories preparing for and fighting the COVID-19 battle. Very early, uh, we provided a grant of $4 million to our member countries, half a million dollars to each member country to assist them with procuring equipment, testing equipment, critical supplies to respond. And we didn't do a loan. Typically the central bank makes loans. We didn't do a loan because in that period we figured we need to, number one, rule in pandemics, control the pandemic, give them a grant. They're already highly leveraged. They're already highly indebted at this moment you know, we, we could do our best would be to give them a grant. And that's what we did. And they were very appreciative. We've cut our discount rate to 2%, which is the rate at which we lend to governments and lend to commercial banks. It's historic. This is the first time we've touched this rate in 17 years. The last time we changed this rate was in 2003, shortly after 9-11. The focus going forward is to increase testing within territories of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union. We have effectively flattened the curve as you can see, left of screen, and we have now contained, effectively contained the virus in the Eastern Caribbean. Kudos to all concerned. And of course, we are beginning to increase our testing, which is a very important part of the response. In fact, to get to the point where we have relaxed certain restrictions, as you have seen in the last two, three weeks, we needed to flatten the curve and the government's the health authorities also needed to step up testing. And as you can see right off screen, there's significant testing that has commenced. Uh, there's a benchmark that we try to target for testing, which is between 3 to 12%. Since the governor's report, Antigua has recorded one positive case of COVID-19, while Dominica has recorded two. And COVID-19 largely kept games at bay due to social distancing, but some events have been making a comeback. Delvin Esri reports on recent domino competitions. Wake up stars from Portsmouth have booked a spot to the grand finals of the El Dorado and Soccer Rum Islandwide Domino Competition after a lengthy break because of COVID-19. In a very tight match against their rivals Rockers from Pebush, the boys from stars 
kept a cool head to win by 579 points. Final scores, Wake Up Stars 4007, Rockers 3428. Wake Up Stars will now wait on the winners of the second semi-finals between Julius Timothy Rebels from Funkoli and Golden Arms from Sufri. This was the first major sports competition to resume in Dominica, Delvin Espri reporting. Flow. It only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play, and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With Flow, it only gets better. Si ou ni maladi HIV, e de maladi sexy wa. Si ou pa poteje ko lo ka ni sex ek plizye moun. Sakay mette la vi ou ak wadaje. Ou ka expose tout pat na ou pweza. E de tsaki ka vini ek maladia. Seve yo kondom chak fwa ou ka ni sex. Change ki, i e pota pou dekouve maladi a pone. Ou sa viv ak bon soti, menm si ou ni maladi HIV. Pwen wè skon sa pite, poteje ko ou e bili zot. Examine ko ou. Ede du bout si men maladi HIV ek lot maladi seksi wa. When you feel a sneeze or a cough coming, <coughs> covering your mouth prevents the spread of germs. You probably knew that. But the way you cover up also matters, and that means breaking a habit you've held near and dear all your life. Cover your nose and mouth with your flexed elbow or a tissue, not your hands. Discard the used tissue immediately, then wash your hands. Help stop the spread of germs. Remember, your health is your responsibility. A message by the Health Promotion Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and New Health Investment, Dominica. you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up, switch to Flow. It only gets better. Now to win, it only gets better with flow. Flow terms and conditions apply. To end the news, the headlines again. The private sector warned to be proactive for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season. Two new cases of COVID-19 isolated, and cable wireless communication confident of 2020 hurricane season preparedness. Feel free to access our past the newscast on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I'm Andrea Louis. And to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Join us tomorrow.